Okay, welcome to a smaller review of the suction cup that uh, comes as a, a separate um, option for the GoPro Hero. Uh, obviously that you can use already from the Hero 1 or Hero 2 if you have it. Uh, this is my first Hero so I had to buy it. So how does it look like? Um, basically this part comes with the camera itself uh, as I already uh, showed in the other video. So I just take it off. So this is how it comes. Um, you have this multiple kind of arm that you can turn in different directions to set up basically the camera. So let's just put this one on again. Um, it comes without that little screw, so you have to take that one from the hero that you have already. And you need a longer uh, arm to basically screw it in. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> as you can see, you can turn it in multiple directions. Uh, how about I attach it to the table first and then we can move it around. So how it works basically you have this kind of rubber uh, section cup on the bottom and then you have a little nipple here to basically take it off once you attach it to it. So what you do with it, you just put it on the surface that you want to do. Make sure that it's clean, especially if you record for cars. I use this for car recording. So you put it on a clean surface, you press that button and then you turn that lever here. And you can see on the bottom it's, uh, it's kind of uh, stiff so it cannot really open by itself easily. And I can recommend as well if you use it on a car, um, try to put that one into the direction of the wind. So if you're basically driving that way, yeah, the wind comes this way and it will pull it further on and will make sure it will not open. Just another security measure from my side. Okay, so then what can you do? You have the different things, you can obviously turn it around. You can, uh, let me close this one, open that screw. Uh, you can move it up and down, left and right. Then you can move that arm, as you can see, so you can turn it in different directions. Yeah. So don't worry, it's make noise like this, but it's all fine. So just tighten it up again. And then basically this arm as well. So it basically gives you all different positions to record uh, according to what you really need uh, to do and how to set it up. And the thing is really, really strong. So I mean, it's not easy to take it off. Yeah, it really holds. I tried it up to a speed of uh, 140 kilometers an hour, and it was no problem. And according to GoPro, when I sent them an email, they said uh, they tested it on a Red Bull plane, one of this. Um, <coughs> sorry, one of this. Uh, artistic planes that do all these stunts in the air and they had it um, attached to the plane up to a speed of around 330 to 340 kilometers an hour an hour and uh, I think they recommend up to 320 it's fine so uh, I pretty much believe it because you've seen videos of cars like uh, Aventador and all the stuff up to 300 kilometers and it was it's still there so I still believe I think uh, it will it will hold up let me give you another video I'm gonna play in a video now with some different uh, shots so you can see um, which different positions and angles you can basically use it on. Thanks for watching and then subscribe if you like. So then you can just lift the top off, put this on the side.